welcome to the third Optimism Practice meeting. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. I'm having a really fun time here with Das and Hadlan and Rose Murray. We're just talking about Hadlan's uh, Phoenix Mandala, and we're also talking about uh, what's been going on since the last week Optimism Practical and much more coming soon. I uh, hope that you are enjoying watching the episodes. I'm going to give a little presentation. Uh, I'm going to show you the prior episodes too, as well as more details about what we're going to be discussing in this episode and the respect game and so forth with Optimus Fractal. Uh, if anybody here at the DAS Hotline Resumary wants to jump in and say hello at any point, then of course, as always, feel free to do so. And I will help for the presentation to help your optimism. <laughs> All right, so you can learn more about Optimism Fractal. You can learn the details at optimismfractal.com. This website is still in development, but it's coming together week by week, and you can RSVP here and check out a high-level overview about how you can join Optimism Fractal meeting to meet fellow optimists who are doing great things in the Optimism Collective and create public goods and be rewarded for creating public goods and recognize for that and earn respect from fellow community members and help grow optimism. There's much more we can go into here. We're also experimenting and testing new awesome tools on the OP stack that Tadas and Vlad, fellow Optimus 16 members built. You could scroll through and check it out. I'm going to give a little overview here. Uh, first, quick high level overview of the agenda. Basically, we're going to be doing this meeting for about an hour. We started like, uh, uh, we're already five minutes in or so, so maybe 55 minutes or so. Um, basically, we're going to be playing the respect game, which is an inconsensus game designed to award public goods creators, foster collaborations, and create profound benefits for Optimus Collective and everybody really. We're going to talk a little bit about optimism in general, because I realized in the past episodes, we didn't provide much an intro to optimism. So if anybody's not familiar with optimism, we'll let you know what's up with optimism and all the great stuff that's going on. And then we'll also just give you a little overview of optimism fractal. So in addition to optimismfractal.com, you can check out lu.ma slash optimismfractal to register. Uh, you get weekly email reminders. We have meetings that everybody's welcome to join every Monday at 17 UTC. You can register for one event or as many events as you like. Um, and I, I encourage you to invite friends and help spread the word because I think this is profoundly helpful for both optimism and really everybody in the world. Um, so whether you're interested in growing communities or optimism or um, meeting people who are doing really cool stuff, there's a lot that we can uh, provide value for you here. Also check out the Optimistics Twitter account as well as um, Optimism Fractal on Twitter at Optimism Fractal and at Optimistic. So Optimistics is the team that is bringing you Optimism Fractal and creating it. Um, so we're inviting you to join every Monday at something you see as, as I said and you can find the links I share with you. One link here that's also uh, very interesting is optimismfractal.com slash media, which we also link to if you check out gov.optimism.io. You can see our most recent post too. It's a great place to interact with the optimism community uh, and you can explore more about like all of our past episodes. So, so far we had the first two meetings and we released the first two videos. The first video, we had a special tour of the new tools and we gave you an introduction. You can find this at optimismfractal.com slash one. Uh, or actually optimismfractal.com slash media has all these episodes. You have the first episode here, Welcome to Optimism Fractal. And then the one that we released last week uh, was the Illuminating Public Goods episode. Number two, we talked about the best ways to award public goods creators. Well, really, we played the respect game. And we all shared our public goods and played and uh, helped recognize public goods and so forth. But you can check out show notes for each one of these. We have timestamps and you can also watch the full video too. They're about an hour long or so. And they're like super fun and engaging and a great way to learn about what's going on in the Optimism ecosystem as well as scroll down and see some of the more recent posts too. So I encourage you to check out all the cool stuff going on in the optimismfractal.com slash media. Uh, and there's also a blog article there where you can learn more details about where Optimism Fractal came from and how we've been building it for many months now with another community called Eden Fractal and pioneering all these fractal cooperation processes and uh, really excited to share it with you. I see somebody just joined, so I will admit them into the room now. Um, you can check out the details for how we play the respect game and how Optimism Fractal meetings work at optimismfractal.com slash details. Uh, you can find some key links, including the Fractogram app and a blog post and article. That's the app that we use to come to consensus in the respect game. And there's a web app there. And then you can learn a little bit more about the details about how it all works with the community meetings, respect game, and uh, how respect works and so forth. You can get into it. Welcome, Thiruat. I'm just going to put you on mute for a second. Um, thanks for joining. I'm just in the middle of a presentation right now. And then once uh, I'm done with that, then we'll welcome you and happy to hear from you. Thanks for joining. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're just in the middle of just sharing uh, what Optimism Practice is all about. So high level over, you can go to OptimismFractal.com and we have media and uh, RSVP and all sorts of stuff like that. You can check out in the meantime. Um, and I'm going to go on for the presentation for another just minute or two just to uh, provide some more details. If you do want to get in touch, feel free to join our Discord. Uh, you can find optimistic.com slash Discord as well as Twitter. And also the optimistics.io page is where you can learn more as well. 
Um, I also wanted to give a quick shout out and a quick intro to the Optimism Collective too, because the Optimism Practical is all about helping optimism, helping grow optimism in general, and also helping a community called the Optimism Collective, which is a new type of community designed to reward public goods and build a sustainable future for Ethereum and the open internet, really. There's a great page, optimism.app.optimism.io, where you can learn more about why public goods are so important for our society and why optimism is such a great uh, community doing so many cool innovative things to grow optimism and help people create public goods and be rewarded for creating public goods. So you can learn more there as well as optimism.io. It's working closely with Ethereum and there's a bunch of great technical innovations. And then we also have a blog at optimistics.io slash blog, where you can uh, check out some recent articles that we've been writing and some videos that we've been creating from, uh, I mentioned the Eden Practical Meetings where we're producing videos and talking about optimism and so forth. So uh, we, we have lots of information, videos, text, and so forth that we've been putting together so you can learn more in addition to optimism.io and check out optimistics.io slash blog and you have four articles that we put together here big shout out to rosemary who's on the call right now who helped out immensely with this as well as everybody who joined those calls to help us out at the eden fractal meetings um lastly i want to just give a just mention optimistics uh, i mentioned a couple of times but uh, but this is the team that we're uh, starting optimism fractal with and we just got approved last week or a couple days ago for our um our retro PGF grant. So if any badge holders or citizens are watching, then I encourage you to check out our grant and support it. Or just anybody in, in the Optimism community, I encourage you to check it out. Uh, what we're doing, join Optimism Factor meeting and learn about our work and then help spread the word because we're fairly new to the community, but we think that we have super, super helpful things for the Optimism community and we're working to spread it. Uh, you can check out on Optimus Style slash blog, a bunch of the blog articles about Optimus Fractal, recent episodes, as well as many other episodes that we've been doing for, uh, or many other blog articles we've been making for a while, uh, and also uh, a lot of great videos we've been making for over a year and a half, pioneering these fractal cooperative processes with many hundreds of builders. And so all sorts of really cool stuff that we're doing here, and we're so to bring it to Optimism with the OP Fractal stack that we're building, or, or that we built, uh, and then many more tools that we can build that you can find at Optimism, uh, Optimistics.io slash tools um there's also and this is kind of a long presentation so i'm gonna wrap it up in just a minute but uh yeah there's also more articles here if you want to learn all the details about how we've been building these tools for a long time and where these came from we've been building these for the past several years so there's all sorts of really great stuff here that can help with optimism and we're very excited to share it with you uh more details at edenfractal.com another community where we are pioneering this in fractally.com and you can watch all the videos that we publish at eden creators on youtube youtube.com slash at eden creators but anyway that's a summary there thank you all for listening hope you've enjoyed what we're going to do now is we're going to play the respect game it's going to last for about 45 minutes or so this is outlined, as I said before, at optimismfractal.com slash details. Basically, each person is going to share what they've been doing to help optimism for the past week or so. They can also just introduce themselves and share what they're doing um, and share how they're interested in helping optimism. Uh, but, but but mostly focusing on what they've done to help optimism in the past week. And then we uh, all work together after hearing everybody's format presentation uh, to rank each other's contributions using the Fractal Gram app. And then by doing so, we issue Respect, which is an untransferable token on the OP mainnet, and that can serve as a form of reputation uh, that can help all sorts of things in the Optimistic ecosystem and the world. There's also an article about this at optimistics.io slash tools slash respect, I think, um, somewhere around here where you can learn more about respect and you can learn more about about the Fractogram app as well that we use in the optimistics.io slash tools as well. So basically that's it. We can go into more details. I will stop my screen share now. Thanks again for listening. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for being here. Welcome to Thirawat. Thanks for joining. I uh, would be happy to hear from you if you want to introduce yourself or if you have any quick questions. Uh, and uh, to Das, Rosemary, Hadlan, thanks again for being here. We can jump into the Respect game whenever we're ready. So perhaps would you like to introduce yourself? Th oh, there goes the robot. Um, never mind that then. Um, uh, I saw there were some new people who joined in Discord, uh, and maybe they'll join back. But anyway, I suppose we can proceed with the four of us. Would anybody like to uh, go first and either just share some thoughts in your mind, if you think there's anything else that I missed in the presentation, or anything else that you wanted to mention, or if you're ready to go and share what you've been doing to help optimism, help grow optimism over the past week, then we'd be very happy to hear from you. Who would like to go first? <laughs> I I feel like it should be you or to Das or Hotline, one of you, because I would just spoke a lot. So it might be good to to mix it up a little bit. I don't know. Do you want to go first, Rosemary? Or... Yes, I can go first. Oop. Um so 
can you allow me to share my screen, please? Yes, I just did. I did it right before you said that. Okay. Great. So my contributions for this past week for optimism have been to edit the optimism fractal second video. Also thinking about uh, alongside then about the best name, like title and description. Um, the video is now edited. I also worked on timestamps and uh, alongside the thumbnail, creation of the thumbnail. And I worked to uh, also collate that into uh, Optimism Fractals page with alongside uh, show notes. This is still work in progress. I included the post that this video has been mentioned. For example, this is a, a take from the our sharing in gov.optimism.io. I worked on this specific um, thumbnail. This was from last week's meeting. And over here, you can see the timestamps and then tweets where um, where this video has been mentioned also. And then we were also working to convey the first video and share it with more and more people in the Discord chats and as well as tweets. This is the one that we put up uh, yesterday to invite people for today's meeting, as well as uh, we did a few more uh, in a few days ago, but this is the latest one um, showing a new thumbnail, not thumbnail, but an invitation image that I worked on. And we share this in the Discord channels. This is the Optimism Fractal channel, as well as the general Optimism channels and show and tell. And this is an example from the show and tell. And we received some comments from um, Mozuku already and I've also been exploring uh, different tools to cut short clips like this script and as well as um, Opus clip and I've been um, cutting short clips which are not yet posted but I've been working on getting my head around how to work with this script and Opus and trying out different things with short clips which are coming soon and also i've been um, sharing the link to luma for anyone who would like to register and i encourage everyone to also come and join us <laughs> that's it for me so that's would you like to go next yes i can go next yeah so this last Week two things like I did was distribute respect like I currently doing every week, uh, based on results of each meeting, and uh, I'm also just finished a draft for, for. A draft which for an article which describes this potential synergies between retro PGF and, and optimism fractal, um, in particular. Retro PGF, from what I hear, currently has one problem where that relates to the amount of uh, applications that badge holders have to review. Uh, we already point out this problem in in the in their ref reflections after season two, and uh, it seems that this remains a problem in season three, especially considering that. The amount of applications has increased uh, quite significantly, and uh, yeah. So I, in that article, I explore some potential solutions, and so there are basically I point out uh, three or four of them, depending on how you count. So first of all respect could be used uh, as evidence presented by the by the applicants to show that what we are working on is really valuable for the community 
So it could be used just an, as an additional form of uh, information for 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 batch holders. Uh, a step further would be for RetroPGF to order applications for batch holders to review based on on the on the amount of respect that we gained. Uh, and uh, I would say this is. Uh, this will still be fair because uh, Optimism Fractal is quite open and, and who who can participate. So, and it's not a lot, I would say, to ask for retro PGF participants to come to a meeting and pitch their projects and uh, and yeah. And a step even further would be for for retro PGF to say that it reviews uh, only projects. Which receive certain amount of respect, for example. Uh, alter uh, an another alternative would be for uh, to allow on only batch holders to nominate projects, but uh, Optimism Fractal could act as a meeting point between batch holders and uh, all the projects. So batch holders would come and spend forty five minutes every week to. Uh, to participate in a meeting where people pitch projects and uh, and and yeah that's where we could learn about new projects every week and uh, see how other people are seeing them evaluating them and use that information to 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 decide uh, if, if if who to nominate uh yeah, I think this could potentially be a lot uh, lighter workload for batch holders. This process than uh, than what we currently have to do, basically to review hundreds of applications in text. Uh, yeah, so these are a couple of ideas. Generally, I I I think there are even more potential mechanisms, but the general idea is that. Uh, optimism fractal point of optimism fra fractal is to recognize public goods, goods contributors and retro pgf uh, seeks to uh, to reward them and currently the problem that retro pgf is having is uh, in my mind it's exactly the problem that uh, optimism fractal can solve because uh, it's a problem of who should get attention which applicants should get mo most attention and this is exactly what uh, optimism fractal can solve by by basically recognizing the contributor yeah, so this is a high level overview of these some of the ideas i've been thinking about and writing about Sounds great. Thanks I, for that. I yep. missed something. I, I forgot to tell something. As part of my contributions that I created a list on Twitter for optimism uh, contributors. And this list is contains uh, above around 150 accounts, um, mostly contributors, optimists, as well as some projects. And you can find this in at twitter.com slash rosemary digital one of my posts from 2nd of november there's a link to the list and it already has uh i think eight followers um from the optimism community some of and i'm, I'm glad that this is helpful very nice i followed the list to us Tadas, I'm, I'm curious how you're um, um, planning on releasing or presenting your ideas. You said you're writing about them, but it sounds like a solution. It sounds like you're presenting a solution for the wider ecosystem or like for, for the wider OP ecosystem. So I'm curious if you're going to like put that in front of anyone or how, how you plan on kind of um, putting that idea out there to see if it if people pick it up. Yeah, that's a good question. We, in fact, we were talking about this with Dan and Rosemary earlier. Uh, so right now, I, I don't have a concrete plan. I just think this. I wrote this article, which I will plan to release shortly, and 
uh, this helped me to like uh, uh, organize my own ideas, and I think it will serve as useful like uh, reference point to anyone to whom I introduce this. Uh, yeah, but with regards like how I I, I don't know it obviously you want to get. Uh, as many eyes as possible on the, on this, like especially of people from Optimism Collective, who uh, people from Retro PGF and so on, because to, for this to work best, it would need the collaboration with uh, people who organize Retro PGF. Yeah, this is it's kind of a. Uh the quandary of any disseminating any information right um it's like there's so many ideas out there um so how do we how do we all self-organize in order to get the best ideas to circulate um but that's what a lot of you know a lot of events and stuff that people have where speakers and then there's breakout sessions and unconferences and stuff um seems to be where a lot of ideas happen as well um so yeah, there's just curious, just kind of curious, um, because I think that um it's interesting. Uh speaking of like the fractalized, fractalized system, right? If like we're like a tiny smaller node, like how do we kind of spread those ideas to the wider node uh, and back and forth? Yeah, yeah, that makes me think that exactly like how how do I share this idea is it's that's what the article itself is about like how do we spread ideas and this is ex exactly the problem that we need to solve to spread this article article itself so it's kind of like chicken and an egg problem that's um yeah that's all I, I feel like that's a lot of what uh is being explored and um figured out in the ecosystem right now it's very meta it's a very like how do we do the things that we're talking about we're doing and then and then the building on top of that will kind of come from there i agree good points and yeah i was reading the article the draft article before to das just about an hour ago or so and it was super interesting and fascinating and great talking with you about it yesterday and, and great hearing your thoughts there hadlan um thanks for asking the question and, and sharing your insights and perspectives much appreciated uh, when I go, I can also share, uh, I made a bit of progress to help answer that question too. Um, but if you want to go first, hop on, then feel free or I can go. It's up to you. Um, yeah, actually, I'll go really quick just because it kind of it kind of dovetails off of what we were just talking about. So we can all just kind of um, piggyback on each other. Sounds great. Um, the, so what I've been, I've been working on the last week uh, has been... Um, like a model, like a DAO, kind of a DAO model. Um, and this has kind of been a follow-up from the event that I helped put on a couple of weeks ago um, about Ethereum localism or, you know, using blockchain and a, um, localism. And then had a conversation about DAOs and like what does and doesn't seem to be working with DAOs kind of came up with this model, this idea that I've been um, really in the last week, just kind of getting down on paper and collecting my thoughts about. And it's, I'm calling it like, a, a living DAO, um, a living DAO model, um, and it's kind of it's also related to like our conversations we've been having about frac fractal democracy um, and um, creating DAOs and like kind of a fractal system and a fractal model. Um, and so I'm looking forward to getting that in a blog post. Maybe I'm going to put it down on Twitter and on Lens and Farcaster if I can figure that out first, just to get my ideas down. Um, but yeah, the idea is basically to create a DAO that allows people to come in and contribute and then leave easily um, and imagining an ecosystem of, of DAOs where there's kind of, um, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of stagnation. It's like a DAO is kind of uh, made up of uh, smaller DAOs like uh, cells in a, in a um, um, you know, like related to, you know, biology. Uh, like cells in a system um so yeah um that's the main thing that i've been working on and um uh yeah that's it go ahead Dan. 
All right. Uh, well, very interesting, Adlon. Thanks for sharing. Uh, and a nice preview and teaser, too. I'm very interested to dive deeper into that. I think there's a lot of synergies and similarities with what we're doing here with fractals, as you're kind of suggesting. Um, I think a lot of what works in, I, I, I think we discussed last week, like, I don't know if we put the word to it, but biomimetics, like, like learning from nature and, uh, uh, well, there's a lot there. So anyway, thank you very much for sharing, Hathlon. And I suppose I'll go in the interest of time and then we can come back um, and dive deeper into your idea at some point in this meeting or, or when it's more developed. Thank you. All right. So things that I've been doing this week, also fractals, nature, figuring out how people can cooperate in communities at Optimus Fractal. So um, where should I start? Um, I suppose, uh, well, I, I, I have my slides laid out as such, so that is how I'll go. Uh, the next thing I have here is updates with Optimistics team. So I've been coordinating with Vlad, Dadas, and Rosemary. We had like a two-hour call, and this kind of provides like a little summary of where we're at with, uh, with some of our work. Um, so maybe I'll just jump into it rather than reading it. Um, so I participated in two of the uh, governance calls hosted by the Optimism community this week, um, hosted by Gunna and Michael specifically. And this first one in particular, I think kind of helps answer your first question quite a bit, or at least provides a lot of good hints. Um, the question you asked Hotline to, to DOS about how to spread it. So um, this call, I, I listened mostly and they talked a lot about retro PGF stuff. It's a really fascinating conversation, uh, really helpful to understand this amazing mechanism of retro PGF to award public goods creators. And then at the end, uh, for like, just like a minute or so, I just asked some questions. Um, I asked a question about anybody who's interested in um, helping retro PGF, if they have some sort of synergistic project that might be able to help retro PGF where the best places to reach out about are that are and start a conversation. And uh, I spoke with Jonas, who's the lead organizer, I believe, of retro PGF. And he mentioned um, to contact in the Optimism Discord, or no, not Discord, I'm sorry. There's also the Discord too, which might be a good Place, but probably the better place is the discourse forum, which is gov.optimism.io. And I realized that there's a retro PGF channel here. I hadn't previously realized this. So this is a place where I think we can spread the word um, about uh, the work that Tadas is doing when it's ready. Uh, and then also Jonas had mentioned that we could join that call. It happens every month, the um, Citizens House Community Call hosted by Gunna. So that's a place where once we put the article, maybe we can start up a conversation in the forum and discuss it for the next retro PGF season. And I'm looking forward to that. That was inspired a lot by last week. I had a this conversation with Tadas and Rosemary and Vlad figuring out how to do that. Um, and so I think we have a pretty good path or at least some hints of steps going forward there. I also participate in the um, the Optimism community call for the Token House hosted by Michael every other week. Uh, these are on Tuesdays, by the way, and you can learn Everybody's welcome to join. You don't have to be a citizen or anything like that. But I participated there and I listened once again for most of it. But then towards the end of the call, I spoke for like three or four minutes. Um, the call was mostly focused on like token house matters. Like there's a lot of really exciting updates. But I also shared a little bit of a introduction uh, update about Optimum Fractal because uh, it's taking a while to load right now. So never mind that. But there's like 30 or 40 people there. Great, a bunch of great innovators. Um, and I spoke a little bit about Optimism Fractal, uh, invited people to join and shared a little bit about how it's a great place to network with people and how uh, it can really help foster public goods in the community and so forth. So, um, and then I also asked where the best places to promote these events are too, because we've been working on like trying to promote it in Discord and Discord. Sometimes it's not easy to know exactly where to promote it. So hopefully that can be helpful for other event creators and builders in the community. Um, who are making cool innovations to get the word out better and spread it. I also applied to be a grants council reviewer too. Um, so I wrote this application, um, the grants council, for anybody who's not familiar, if you go to gov.optimism.io, or, or no, if you just go to optimism.io, and, and then you go to the uh, doc section, and you go to like the funding, this is actually that we applied to back in, um, back in like four or three months ago, two months ago, three months ago, when we first started Optimism Fractal, we made a grant proposal for the builder subcommittee. Uh, and Optimism has these um, grant opportunities with Grants Council where people can say what they're going to do uh, and build something unique. And then they have a really well-designed system for uh, proposals and stuff like that that you can check out. 
uh, on Charmverse. Uh, so I made an application to be one of the reviewers here. So I worked a lot on explaining my experience with optimism as well as my experience that's relevant and how it can be helpful and so forth and just introduce myself as well as Optimistics and Optimism Fractal and our work with Eden Fractal and Eden Creators and so forth here. So working to help out the ecosystem however I can. And one of the things I did here was I went back to some of the videos that we made over the past two or three months since we started doing that and uh, the articles that we have on the optimistics.io blog where we have uh, videos where we discuss with the Eden Fractal community um, our proposal as we're going live. And so these are mostly done and completed by Rosa Marie over the past few weeks. And then I recorded the videos like um, a couple months ago or I suppose all over the past couple months, but I did just touch them up and so forth to just show um, as a resource, I included in the application to be a grants council reviewer, um, all the cool things that we've done to help provide educational resources about our grant and the processes of the grant council in general. So that can be an educational resource for anybody who's interested in applying for grants. And I encourage people to do so. Uh, season five is starting in January, I believe. So lots of opportunities out there. Another thing I did this week, I had a long conversation with uh, Optimistics team yesterday about um about lots of stuff like the next steps for options Fractal, we're aiming to invite a lot of people and grow it but figure out the best way to get in touch with the community and one thing i noticed that i think we can provide value for that we're not sure about totally yet is a retro pdf project showcase we've been experimenting with uh games in eden fractal for a long time for pitches if you go to edencreators.com slash pitches actually you can see an example of uh, four different meetings where we've hosted uh, games where people can share pitches, like inspiring speeches or pitches about public goods that they're creating, and uh, then work together to rank each other's uh, all sorts of different kinds of consensus games, kind of similar to the respect game, but different in some ways. So yeah, basically, um, I think about maybe proposing that. I was thinking about maybe an option in town hall or something like that. Still in early stages, but working on that a lot, and also uh, looking forward to collaborating with Proof of Integrity, who, as far as I know, are right now the uh, the only team who are offering this kind of service, which is a really good service for the community to help people understand um, what's going on in the community. I've also been thinking about it'd be cool to award people with NFTs or uh, some sort of collectibles or art or something like that. Um, so I've been doing some research for these events into some major platforms like Manifold and Zora and OpenSea, but that's still kind of in development. Uh, and then uh, you mentioned Farcast before Hotline. So I've also been looking at that past couple of weeks as well, trying to get started there. It seems like a really great resource and it's now on the OP mainnet. Lastly, I also uh, refined the media page too. Uh, I worked with Rosa Marie and collaborated on uh, helping to, to to write some of the language to best explain it, like what are the best ways to work public goods creators. In the second episode of Optimist Factor, we play respect game and highlight the brilliant work of Visionary Optimist. That's the episode from last week. Um, Mostly Rosemary put together a lot of that, but I helped out with a lot of feedback and stuff like that, as well as helping out with the feedback with the tweets and um, and sharing the word, um, spreading it out. And I also made a couple updates to the Growing with Optimism um, article, or the Roots of Optimism, rather. I just kind of added some of the most recent videos there, kind of helped up and make it more current. So that's that. Oh, and then one last thing, too, is I spoke about Optimism. Uh, I do this every week at Eden Fractal. I, I share my contributions during Respect Game. Uh, and then I also put a bunch of topics on the agenda. We have an extended agenda game called Agendas. We have two-hour meetings there. So we have more time to discuss topics. And uh, I, I, I uh, discussed um, stuff about Optimism uh, with the Eden Fractal community and then worked with Rosemary on uh, putting it in the Eden Fractal chat as well as a bunch of other Fractal community chats of people who are pioneering Fractal cooperation to help spread the word about Optimism Fractal and Optimism Collective. All right, thank you for listening. If anybody has any questions or comments for anybody now before we get into consensus, then now would be a good time to do so. We have about 20 minutes to reach consensus. Um, in case I wasn't clear before for anybody who's watching, in case you didn't watch the first two episodes, first off, I'd recommend watching the first two episodes um, to understand how the Respect Game works. But I mentioned before, each person shares a contribution for about four minutes, um, maybe, maybe sometimes five or, or something like that, but it, each person shares it pretty short. And then after that, um, the goal of the game is we have to come to consensus. So at least three out of four people have to come to consensus about ranking somebody's contributions as the top, which is level six, and the second top, which is level five, and so forth. And so I see that Stas just made the Fractogram app or the link to the Fractogram um, in the Zoom chat. And I think everybody joined but me so far, so I'm going to join that now. It's a lot of good contributions this week. Absolutely. From everyone. I agree very much. And it can be difficult. Uh, it happens often when you have people who are like really working hard and doing great stuff. It's it's fairly difficult sometimes to say, well, who should be top? Or who should be second? Or who should be third? Who should be fourth? 
Um, so, so that's that was that was actually something I was thinking about is how um, these contributions become relative, right? And so if you have two p two contributions that are like 110, you know, <laughs> then you're comparing them against each other and not necessarily relative to anything else. That's true. also Tadashi muted. You're speaking, but we can't hear you. Yes, and it's especially when when you have a slightly bigger group of people, you sometimes end up in a group that is very strong. Sometimes in a group that's weak. Uh, so the idea is like what we keep saying is that if you take any particular week, the result is uh, most likely unfair. Over the large period of time, if you keep participating, participating, it's likely that uh, your your average respect will approach the accurate your right. accurate uh, basically contribution. Right, right. The more the more that you do it over time, the more it averages out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be it can be considered kind of like a sampling um and, and you need a large sample size with many measurements over time so you're kind of measuring the amount of contributions people do on a weekly basis for a long time and each time it's being ranked or uh or reviewed by well in our case our communities are pretty small right now so it's mostly the same people in our groups but we've done it with uh 30 people or 40 people in a group and it could work with thousands so you end up getting a very diverse set of of opinions that help rank it help rank people's contributions um, I'm also thinking of a, like the incentive for it. So if you know that somebody is going to be um, doing a bunch of good work and be highly um, contributing a lot in one week, then it might be incentivize you to focus on something else for that week or to, or to not um, work as hard, which I think on its face might seem bad. But I'm, as I'm thinking about it now, like um, just because you're not doing something uh, and producing something doesn't mean that it's not productive or it doesn't mean that it's that it's bad it could actually help even out a group over time um so if somebody's working really hard or a group is someone in the group is working very hard one week then the um you know part of that group might choose to rest or to focus on something else or to recharge in some way and then come back the following week and um you know contribute all out um so i'm thinking that just off the top of my head thinking of like the incentive of of kind of dispersing um uh, dispersing the energy of a group over time as well um, to be more consistent uh, and keep uh, burnout from happening as much. Yeah, good points. Very interesting. How then? I love how uh, I, I was watching the video um, uh, from last week, and uh, I was just rewatching to see what everybody said, and, and it seemed like you've like really picked up the game, and they're like analyzing for all different angles and stuff, and bringing a lot of unique insights and thoughts to it. So I appreciate that, and I'm stoked about uh, how you can into it. Uh, and then on that point too, I think that well, for one, if you do have large groups, so like this is designed for large groups of like hundreds of thousands of people. So to that point, if it's random, then um, to some extent, there's this incentive to just do your best every week, but also, of course, you don't want to burn yourself out and you want to um, have good energy and so forth so you can help as much as you can and live a good life as much as you can uh, for the long term. And then just one other thought on that is that uh, in the, the, the Optimism Collective and Retro PGF talks a lot about impact equals profit and Optimism Fractal isn't taking part in profit right now, but as Sadas said before, we're aiming to help award and recognize people who are doing public goods uh, and then they can earn profit from Retro PGF. And so that's something we were discussing yesterday about traditionally it's always been a weekly contribution, um, but there is possibility that like, well, I mean, for one thing that can just average out over time. So uh, the impact equals profit kind of uh, idea is like how much impact you do over the course of your entire life for optimism basically can be rewarded. So even if you're not super highly rewarded in one week in optimism practical, then you can be rewarded in future weeks and that can still show in your score, uh, three second points and so forth. Yeah, I'm curious to see this uh, over, you know, like you're saying, thousands, hundreds of thousands, multiple um, in a group, um, be interesting. And then over time as well. Because this is a very small, we're a very small um, um, sub, uh, group here um, doing this. So interesting to imagine it scaling up. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, 
by the way, uh, we probably should get consensus. I see that to the Austin I, I, I see everybody voted but me because I don't know who to vote for so six yet. And I'm getting in the conversation to put off the decision at the moment. But I do have videos, if anybody's interested in seeing on Eden Crazy YouTube channel, of uh, both Eden Fractal and Genesis Fractal. I had between like 20 and 40 people for many meetings. So we cool. still haven't had a huge meeting. Uh, and we also have some videos from uh, an election that had like uh, 200 people at one point as well a couple of years ago. Okay. It looks like I got level six. Yeah. Thanks all. We should just told we should yeah, we should have just told you that you were already <laughs> you could have made, you would have made a, you would have saved a lot of stress and decision making for me there. <laughs> You're thinking hard and hard and we already know it. It's the side. Yeah. Uh yeah, right now it's not decided regarding level five. So your vote. <laughs> your okay. vote. I'm just going to get hard. <laughs> That's my way of doing that. No, Man, that I, doesn't work. Right, it doesn't work in reset game. I can keep trying to do it. Okay. Um, okay, it looks like it. Uh, Tadas has three votes there and Hotline has one. Okay, thanks for level five. No. Level four. Uh, we were neck and neck there for a second, Rosemary. <laughs> then okay to the side. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very difficult decision. I'm sorry. Um, okay, but it looks like we have consensus. Oh. Now. Rosemary, good game. <laughs> yes, good <Great> game. game. <laughs> Speaking of good game, uh, I, I was thinking, uh, I brought up yesterday and Tadas didn't love the name, but I thought of it more. And um, there's Retro PGF. I'm thinking about uh, like Fractal PGG or, or just Optimism PGG. And it's like public goods games. So just an idea out there because people say like, GG, good game all the time. So maybe public goods games. I think that's something we can bring into the lexicon. PGG. I kind of like that. PGG. <laughs> Pretty soon that's what all the kids are going to be uh, uh, typing as they play their PGGs. All right, cool. So for anybody watching, uh, we just reached consensus. Uh, DAS is level six. Or, no, I was level six. DAS is five. Hotline was four. Rosemary was three. Much respect to everybody. Everybody, uh, we're now entering our consensus results. There's a little button in Fractal Fan that says you can submit results here, and that pre-fills the web app, optimismfractal.web app, with our uh, optimism addresses, and we're logging in with our wallets, and then we're going to be submitting our consensus scores. We need to do that within two hours of when the event starts, I think, to make sure that it's like legit according to the rules of uh, the game and optimismfractal.com slash details, and then that will push it on chain onto the optimism mainnet uh and not the ethereum mainnet as we learned last week there's some uh there's some confusion. Now I, get the prompt. I, I, I think vlad fixed that oh was that for me yes now i get the prompt yeah that was it that was a that was a ux ui issue that was a ux issue yes it should be fixed now by the way i i'm seeing the the character sequence d4 0 5 f9 1 a Anyone else sees the same? Yes. G four zero five F nine one eight. Yes. Okay, pushing it. Cool, cool. I'm also working on doing D405 F91A. Yep.
Okay, sounds good. So it looks like everybody else uh, had it submitted, and then I got confused from my wallet, but I'm going to be submitting it right now. And then uh, we have eight minutes left as far as the scheduled meeting time. So um, if anybody else wants to just have some open discussion or ask any questions or comments, I, I, I'd be curious, Hotline, if you wanted to go into any more details. Your presentation was pretty quick, just a minute or two about yeah. the ideas you're working on. So if you wanted to share any more previews for us or anybody else watching, um, then you can no, do so. The only, yeah, the only, so the, the, the concept of it, um, there's, there's a concept that um, we were, or we were talking before that so was talking about, um, we were talking about how we're kind of creating the kind of meta uh, stage that we're in right now of the entire ecosystem where there's kind of all these things that we that we use cases and things we want to do, but really it comes back down to like, we have to like create the foundation first. Um, and so um, in the model that I'm coming up with, the um, the idea is, and this is coming out of a, a DAO that um, I'm involved in that we're kind of trying to start and, and get going. But the idea is that, um, you know, most DAOs want to, most DAOs start with an idea, a product, a service, and they go with that. And then secondary to that is like onboarding and governance and consensus. Um, and so my idea is kind of to like flip that around and to focus first on how you onboard, how you build consensus, and then to um, build products and ideas on top of that. And that actually creates a stronger foundation. Um, and so like really the first, the, the, the very first, uh, you have a, a vision or a, a mission statement to bring people together. And then the first thing you do as a DAO is to figure out how to be a DAO um, um, first and foremost. And, and then the idea of kind of being able to export those ideas, right? And contribute those to the rest of the ecosystem. And I kind of like how that relates to what um, is happening here of like the games, like you were talking about the, um, um, the consensus games. And those are things that I think um, games are fun, one, and consensus is something that is uh, often difficult to come to, right? And so being able to like have these games and Dan, you mentioned like sharing these, talking about sharing these with the uh, optimism ecosystem or the wider ecosystem of like um, plug and play tools um, to be able to share and for people to, to plug in um, to help them come to consensus around uh, building things, which is really what people want to do not to figure out how to, you know, design systems of consensus. Not everybody wants to do that. Really good points. Thanks, Alban, for going into more detail about that. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'm very excited to see more about what you come up with when you have a chance to, if you have a chance to write it, I don't know if you've, if you've written it anywhere or where exactly you are in the uh, lifespan of this idea and, and your work with it, but um, I, I think we're on the page, uh, on the same page quite a bit, and um, I'm glad it seems like the work here seems to be inspiring you, and you also have a whole bunch of experiences that I, I think you're probably bringing in, in, in new thoughts to it as well, so um, yeah, yeah, all that sounds fascinating, I, I, and I agree, it's important to bring people together consensus first, and then focus on uh, on growing, and the games are a really helpful way to do that, so Please do feel free to share whenever you have more details about that. Uh, just on these uh, on these weekly meetings, um, very happy to hear from you whenever you uh, have the time to join and, and share updates on that, as well as anything else. Uh, and then if you uh, have anything written or a video or, or anything that we could check out and learn more in detail about, it, then feel free to share it in the uh, Discord as well. Yeah, I'll be happy to share um, once I come up with something and help help hold me accountable to you know getting the stuff out of my head uh, and down and. Uh... Tadas, I appreciate you sharing your uh, your blog post as well. Um, I've been uh, drawing inspiration from that in multiple ways. So thanks for sharing sharing all the other stuff that um, y'all have been working on. Thank you. I I I I, I will share my post actual post pretty soon. Although I I pretty much reviewed most of it when I spoke about it. The um the one you were speaking about today that you're coming up with um that one you mean yeah yeah look forward to reading that sounds yeah, great the, also this is what you what you are talking about this is uh also like for me it's also it's kind of a holy grail like 
a model for DAOs into which uh, all the existing DAO initiatives would somehow fit and be able to coll collaborate. And uh, I mean, if you create some kind of DAO framework that is too rigid, I think too too people people want to like create their own mechanisms and then we so you kind of have to want you you want to leave a leave freedom for DAOs to customize their internal processes while also creating a a common like ecosystem where DAOs can interoperate and build larger yeah. DAO. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a, a tricky that's a tricky thing to design for. Yeah. Um, uh, finding that balance between or creating a structure, but not a structure that is not is not easily changed um, and able to evolve over time. Yes, that's right. Yep. And that's what we're here for. I don't know, it's Dashu, if you're thinking of sharing something else there it looked like you were looking out into the sky and <laughs> having some revelations with it maybe <laughs> so it, it, just thinking it's it's uh, i can think endlessly about these things like but um, yeah yeah well we'll have a lot of time to think about it um and, and we need to i think it's uh something that's essential for um everybody for the world for uh for everybody in optimism and stuff like that to continue uh refining this process and helping people cooperate better i think it's one of the major challenges and uh opportunities in our lives and uh of the world straight of the human race if i may say so um i also mentioned too uh sadashi shared i think you shared the higher order fractal article in the um discord mm -hmm. as well as more equal animals the book uh which was written yeah. by daniel larimer who is um Huge inspiration for us. Uh, if anybody hasn't checked it out, I recommend joining the Optimism Fractal Discord, checking out those links. There's moriclanimals.com, which has uh, it's an excellent resource. Daniel Lammer is, is one of the innovators who, who thought of a lot of this back a couple of years ago and inspired us a lot of it. And then we've been building and they actually released a new initiative called Sync2, which is very exciting, which I just uh, shared more about. And uh, I can share more updates about that in the Optimism Fractal Discord. I encourage everybody to join. Um, you can check out optimismfractal.com. From there, you can RSVP. Um, there's a link there. It goes to lou.mas.optimismfractal. And you can also find the Discord there. So we have these meetings once again on Mondays at 17 UTC. Uh, feel free to join to meet optimists and get rewarded for public goods and just talk about all these cool, fascinating things. And feel free to invite friends too if you think it would be valuable for them. And then if you go to optimismfractal.com slash media, then you can watch the videos. So far, the first two episodes are published and we should have this one published uh, by this time next week. And also you can check out um, our Twitter accounts, uh, twitter.com or x.com slash at optimismfractal and at optimistics underscore, as well as optimistics.io to learn more about all the work that we're doing and to keep in touch and to see the updates each week. That is it. I suppose oh, one other thing too, I encourage people to join and check out Eden Fractal too. That's the event that we host um, Wednesdays at 17 UTC or 16 UTC rather. Um, and we have a two hour event where we're pioneering a lot of these same processes here too. Uh, and that's where uh, in my presentation, I shared several different things about how we're talk a lot about optimism at Eden Fractal as well as just these fractal processes and communications and stuff like that. So you can learn more about that at edenfractal.com and there you can find a Luma link event link too. But uh, yeah, I um, mostly want to focus on just uh, helping everybody as much as I can. So check out optimismfactor.com to learn more and feel free to reach out with any questions or comments uh we're at the top of the hour so i suppose we can wrap it up thanks so much to das and hotline and russ marie for a wonderful meeting this was super inspiring and super fun so i really appreciate it and i'm thrilled where we're at um i see hotline throwing out the confetti cannon thanks hotline i think you uh, i'm glad to hear you're enjoying it rosemary as well rosemary with the confetti cannon maybe i'll do it too oh we got confetti cannons all around confetti cannons YouTube. all around yeah unfortunately the zoom the people watching on youtube can't see the confetti cannons but you can imagine Imagine it going up in space so <laughs> that's how we're having fun here we're having a little party all right cool well thanks and so much respect to everybody thank you so much really appreciate it and i'm so looking forward to next optimum fraction meeting next monday and hope to see you there anybody have any uh last thoughts you want to share before we wrap it up that was a great meeting thank you everyone yeah thanks a lot everyone yeah thanks 
Thanks all. Go optimism, grow optimism. And uh, I agree. Great meeting. And see you later. Peace and love. Thank you. Bye, Mike.